This can sound crazy, but when you watch these players play, you can definitely describe it as kind of slippery. This is one of those words you hear from time to time, and we kind of get what it means, but it's hard to really define it. So how I define this is a player who, even if you're locking them up and feel like you're playing fantastic defense, will find a way to kind of slip by you into open space. They're super comfortable in close quarters with the defender, always find a way to get by, and whatever you take away, they're gonna have an answer for it. So you got powerful players, you got more deceptive players who will create space before the attack. But these players, it's almost like you're guarding a player who's got their shirt off in a pickup game, and it boosts their player rating like crazy because they're just freaking slipping and sliding around everyone. And if you can get really good at this over time, it's super frustrating to guard, and no matter what the defense takes away, you'll have an answer. Let's dive in and study it. So first off is being able to feel out forward weight placement or momentum. In other words, defenders will at times begin to lean forward a bit when they're super close, whether it's on a post up, coming off a ball screen, or just as they cut you off. And getting used to that feeling and then attacking off of it will make getting by defenders so much easier because, well, they gotta go backwards, but all of their weight is already forward. So by the time they shift back and try to stay with you, you have an advantage. Like right here, as he's kind of bracing for that contact, he begins to lean forward. And that makes it much easier to slip by there. Like I say, there's a line from the block here, so you only have this space. Yeah, so like right there, as soon as I cut you off, like I was literally leaning here. That's where like a tight spin or something like that would be. Right, you felt that contact and then you like pause and I reset my momentum. Okay. Versus like if, as soon as you feel that and you feel me leaning, that's when it's time to go, I would say. Oh yeah! You almost had that though. And this is why, in my opinion, defenders will back up so much as somebody like SGA attacks them because they know that if they do clash a bit with contact, he's probably going to find a way to use that contact against them and slip by. But this opens up these little step backs and separations like this. So that trade-off is damn near impossible to guard. But to be good at this, you can't avoid contact. You got to embrace it and use it as a way to get them to bump you and shift their momentum. Because part of it is like, I'm initiating it with you to bait you into like pushing me a little bit. Like if I'm driving here, if your, your goal is to try to bump me off, now I can use that against you. If I'm avoiding that, then it's gonna be tough for, for you to give that bump. <laughs> also notice the angles these guys are able to take to sneak or slip in front of the defender. Most players will get turned back right here and counter or retreat. But these slippery players understand their capabilities and rather than disengaging that defender, use tough angles to get by. Now, this takes a few qualities. Number one, the ability to take these wide or tight curved angles. But if you're only a straight line driver, it's tough to find the angle to get by. Number two is the skill of feeling out the defense, their momentum, their position, and then understanding what angle needs to be taken to get from here to here. And this comes with experience. Third is being comfortable with contact here. Obviously, if you're fighting a bit to sneak by this defender, there will be some contact. And if you get bumped off, you're done. So being at least strong enough to maintain this line is important. Fourth is having the feel and strength to discreetly use this off arm to slightly push that defender backwards during the drive. A sneaky trick that you'll see a lot of the most slippery players use. If we're in like close quarters here, it's literally like using you to push off using your contact or momentum against you. And lastly, slightly, or in a more exaggerated way, changing body positioning, most often in the form of opening up, getting skinny, and sneaking by like you're going through a tight space. The most annoying thing is when people go like this, and now they can like literally slip by and be catching up to the ball. Like here, you, you get cut off, and then you kind of turn like that. It's like you're like sneaking through like a little door like this, and then like pushing the ball out. Now, if you can't sneak around like here, you know the defender's probably selling out. They're probably making a big jump to make sure that you don't get around. So snatching back or separating out is usually a good option. Obviously, this is a super quick read that you'll just need experience to get good at, but just know that if you can slip by defenders like this consistently, they'll probably start selling out to stop it, and now you'll have this as a really good option. The next component of angles is how they're able to counter directly by the defender once they get this window of space open. I'm all for wide angles when needed, like here, 
but especially once these defenders are vulnerable, it's about finishing them off with a tight angle, and I see players far too often take these wide banana angles, and even if the initial defender doesn't recover, they're driving right into the help defense, whereas when you drive tight off of this counter, you're working tight with the space you got. Notice how these players are okay with this initial attack being taken away, because they know it'll put the defenders in a tough position, leaning forward and away, and they're confident in their ability to work out of it. And usually these players use these tight spin moves as go-tos, which end up being super successful because of their feel and ability to counter tight and take the right angle. If you're not good with this, spin moves can be vulnerable and a bit out of control, but these slippery players tend to be very in control with this and seal aggressive defenders off. Plus, spin moves are very fluid in terms of playing with this forward-leaning defender as you just kind of roll off of them and leave them in the dust. But the key to making these spins truly functional is to exit them with control, or in other words, playing at a pace and being comfortable enough with these that when you get here, you're able to shoot, pass, pivot, work through contact, finish, anything. And speaking of around the rim, lateral jumps are another super slippery way to work around shot blockers. Rather than just jumping straight up and down and into defenders, it's about getting a feel for these players' momentum and then sneaking by the other way by jumping to the side. This is one of the most annoying things to deal with as a shot blocker because no matter how you play it, they're going the opposite way to create space and extend out. And even before that final jump on the finish, getting through these tight spaces around the rim is a signature. Again, as weird as it sounds, envision a quite literally slippery player and how they'd be able to slip through these small gaps. That's how these players make it look in compact areas as they burst through these little glimpses of daylight. If you can develop a knack for doing this, even with physicality and high speeds, it's tough to stop. Also, notice that although these players might be fast, it's not really about speed, but rather strategy and control. In fact, speed may sometimes be good for this to sneak around defenders, but I see it more often than not hinder the ability to do any of these because they end up with tunnel vision, start predetermining moves a bit more, have less time to read defenders, and can be too sped up to be in control, versus these guys who are all going at a comfortable controlled pace. Now, I'm not saying you always go 50% speed here, but slowing down to that 80-90% range is often good here. And finally, these players are elite problem solvers. Whatever you take away, they're going to find a solution. If you play them physically and take away the initial drive, they'll figure it out. If you close space this way, they'll figure that out in a matter of milliseconds and get to where there is space. And this is how I want you to start approaching the game. There are so many possibilities and none of them are the right or the wrong way to score, get a bucket, or get past a defender. These slippery players, so to speak, are cool with whatever the defense takes away because that means they're going to have something else available. And once you start seeing the game like that and get experience through a ton of live play to develop this feel, it's a game changer. So hopefully you guys took something from this video. Obviously this play style isn't for everyone, but I do think you guys can all take a little something from this and apply it to your game. As always, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Till next time.